After having spent the last quarter of my life in the anime fandom, I can say one thing for certain. There is nothing that weebs love discussing and arguing about more than the question of who is best girl. And in a show like I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level, which is filled with cute girls, the question remains more prevalent than ever. Who is the best girl of the show? Luckily for you, I'm here to give you a scientific breakdown of each girl and rank them. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Whoa, 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 hold on. Who does this fucking J-Defense anime guy think he is? Who is he to tell us the official ranking of each girl in the show? But hear me out. Now, with that out of the way, let's dive into the rankings. We'll start with the poster girl and main character, Azusa. Right from the start, Azusa is already ahead of the pack for two main reasons. One, her name is Azusa, which is the same as Azusa from Kaon, which is my favorite girl from Kaon. Two, she has a gigantic witch hat, and I'll be damned if I don't love character designs with either hair accessories or gigantic hats. Oh, and she's voiced by Aoyuki, who I nominated for Best Female Voice Acting Performance in my 2019 Anime Awards. Despite being the strongest being in the world of Slime 300, Azusa prefers to take life easy, reminding us to work to live rather than living to work. That relatable outlook, combined with her gigantic witch hat, plants her firmly in S tier. Next up, we've got Laika. I'm just gonna get this out of the way right now. I would die for Laika. I don't even need to justify myself, just look at her. Remember when I said I like hair accessories? She's got horns. Let me just check that box off. Uh, what else do I like? Let's take a look at my top 25 best girls. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of girls with either red eyes red clothes, or like, a shade of red, orange, or pink for their hair. Now, if we just extrapolate that to like a run Deistra's algorithm, take the interval... Aha! What do you know? Orange hair, red eyes, and red clothes. Just gonna check that box off too. Oh, but that's not all. You know what else? She can transform into a dragon. Yeah. Considering she also wears maid outfits, Laika is basically Toru's spiritual successor, and I'm here for it. And if we check her voice actress, uh, Kaede Hondo. She's got the same voice as Maple, the Maple I nominated for Best Girl in my 2020 awards? S tier. Next up, we've got the dynamic duo, the slimes from out of town, Falfa and Shalsha. I'll do these two together because they're inseparable and the epitome of wholesome. Well, I guess you could argue they didn't exactly start off on the right foot, because Shalsha spent a few dozen years charging her chakras and studying magic in order to get revenge on Azusa's 300 years of slime genocide. Which, if you do the math, was a number of slimes roughly equal to the population of Jamaica. Anyways, after getting one-shotted by Laika and healed up by Azusa, they made up and now the twins are Azusa's adopted daughters, so... all's well that ends well? Their appeal is so renowned that even Beelzebub makes an offer to adopt one of them for herself. Shalsha also shares a voice actress with Nidacris, one of my favorite fake girls, and... What the fuck? Mary? She has the same voice as Mary? The voice of the greatest Baka of all time? <laughs> Their wholesomeness was already enough, but that sealed the deal. S tier. And then there's Halkara, an elf who, at the young age of 17 and 2500 months, has accomplished more in life than I ever will by becoming the CEO of her own company where she manufactures their world's equivalent of 5-hour energy. Despite being a so-called master of mushrooms, she still manages to accidentally eat poisonous ones along with the occasional aphrodisiac that makes her lust after Azusa and suffer the consequences. When you sum it all up though, you've got an elf- sorry, hold on, let me check that box. <clears throat> As I was saying, you've got an elf with book smarts, whose lack of street smarts reminds me of Aqua at times, another of my top 25, and a girl who, despite it only being May, has the potential to claim the title of Best Pout of 2021, S tier. The last of our main cast is none other than Beelzebub. Like Azusa, she gets points right away for her name alone, because Beelzebub is known as the Lord of the Flies, and that was one of the best books that I had to read for school. And, uh, what did I say I liked again? Hair accessories and red eyes, was it? Well, Beelzebub's got it. Not to mention that she's voiced by Manami Numakura, 
who also voices Kohaku, whom I simp for but will not show proof of for various reasons. And honestly, what's not to like about a demon who serves as the right hand to the demon king, but one who also serves as the responsible and reliable Onechan-like role in Azusa's happy little family, who just wants to hang out and have fun, who acts smug but gets easily flustered, and who was so popular that she even got her own spin-off novel and manga. Beelzebub easily falls into the B tier. Yeah, I, I thought you might be surprised by that one. I shower her with praise, but then I put her lower than the rest of them. But that assumption, my friend, was your first mistake. You see, Beelzebub is very intentionally placed in the B tier, and no, it's not something stupid like it being the B for Beelzebub tier. Rather, this B tier is much more special. The B for best girl tier. There are, of course, more characters in the show, but they haven't been around long enough to definitively say. The ghost Rosalie and her delinquent nature brings a different yet fun vibe to the group, while the dragon girl Flatorte sports some horns and seems to be Sundere, which, given that about half of my current top 25 are Sundere, is something I very much enjoy. What really piques my interest, though, are two characters who haven't appeared yet. The first is the demon lord Pekora, which shares a name with my favorite VTuber, the rabbit Pekora. Her character description lists her as a masochist who wants to serve as Azusa's subordinate, which I think sounds like a hilarious idea for the Demon Lord, so I can't wait for her to show up. Plus, she's got horns, which as I've established is always a plus. And speaking of rabbits, there's this one named Cuckoo. There's no info about her anywhere yet, but given that she's got rabbit ears, has an orangish hair color and red eyes, and also shows up in the opening with a guitar and is thus probably a musician of some sort, I really want her to show up soon. And with that, Dr. J Defense Anime's science lesson comes to a close, and the important takeaway is that everyone and everything about the show is fun and amazing and you should watch it as soon as possible. If you do, or if you already watched the show, let me know who your best girl so far is. If you found today's lesson helpful, please give the video a like, or subscribe if you haven't yet, so that others can benefit from my teachings. And more importantly, so that you don't incur the wrath of Azusa because she's watching you right now. As always, thanks for watching my video, and until next time.